Echo here, video blog time. Want to talk about how to get yourself ready for a photo shoot or get your body ready for the beach in seven days. Now this only really pertains to those people with low enough body fat levels that uh, we can kind of manipulate for certain things to really get the tight, lean look. So if you're at the 20%, or um, if you're female, or even if you are female at 20%, um, this may not work for you. So if your body fat is below, or single digits, or if you're female, like 15 or below, these variables that I wanna switch up for these little um, tips may help you lean out, tighten up the abs, get the water out from underneath the skin, and get you ready for that beach body that we're all looking for. So, wanna get into it. Two things that we're going to manipulate, nutrition and workouts. So I was trying to figure out where do I want to shoot this video that makes sense. Um, you can shoot it in the kitchen or I can shoot it in my studio. Um, what is it? Is it more about the workouts or is it more about nutrition? The answer, more about the nutrition. If you can see that up there, abs are made in the kitchen, that is correct and definitely for this seven day depletion, it's all, not all about, but it's a big portion about nutrition. So I'm going to try to keep this short because there's a lot of details to this. Um, so, you know, pay attention and hopefully there's enough information here that can help you um, obtain that body you want for your photo shoot. So, first thing I want to talk about, nutrition. So, if your shoot is on Sunday, we need to start this process on the previous Monday. So that's going to give you the seven day window to get ready. So on the Monday, the Tuesday, and the Wednesday, we're going to call those days seven, six, and five. That is all about depletion mode. Um, before I go on, there's many different ways to do this. My body is different than your body, so um, what works for me may not work for you. I've tried a few different things. You're really going to need to test what works for you. I've done uh, various photo shoots, and I've done various strategies to get ready for those shoots, and I've got better results than other times. So I can't really tell you exactly what's going to work best for you, um, but I'm going to talk today about the most um, relevant or the most um, generic point that most people use to get ready. Um, so, number one, depletion for those first three days, so day seven, day six, day five, you're going to deplete yourself of carbohydrates. So, it's a short-term pain for long-term gain is what I always say. Um, so, um, the picture's going to be around forever, it's worth it. So, here we go. Okay, day six, day seven, or day seven, day six, day five. We're going to start off. What's your baseline of carbohydrates? So if your baseline is about 200 carbs per day, starting on day seven, we're slashing that bad boy by 50%. So you're now going to be at 100 carbs on Sunday or Monday, whatever day we said, the seventh day. On day six, you're going to cut your carbs by another 50%. So that's going to take you down to 50 grams. On day five, we're cutting it again, 50%. So you're down to 25 grams. Slash your carbs. Now, also in this depletion stage, your workouts are going to be changed up as well. So you're going to move into full body workouts, and I call them glycolytic draining workouts. High reps, low weight, um, hitting your full body. So three exercises for the larger muscle groups at three sets per exercise. So your chest, your back, your quads, and your hamstrings. I want you doing three exercises, three sets. For your smaller muscle groups, your biceps, your tries, your um, calves, your abs, your shoulders, three exercises, two sets. Okay? 15 to 20 reps. Um, that's the nutrition side, that's your workout size for day seven, day six, day five. With water, you're going to be drinking a lot of water. Now, when I say a lot, 1.5 ounces per pound of body weight. So for me, about 175 pounds, that equals out to about 8 liters of water. That is tons, but it plays a major role in transforming your body in a 7-day period. It's going to help flush out even more water than what you're taking in. So you're going to be going to the bathroom all the time. You're going to be carrying a water bottle with you all the time, but you know what? It's going to be worth it in the end. 8 liters of water for me, 175-pound guy, uh, 1.5 uh, ounces per pound of body weight. Check it out yourself. So that's day seven, six, five. Sodium, clean foods, no added sodium in your foods. Um, boom. All right. 
moving on. Now we're hitting day four, day three, day two, and then the day of your photo shoot. So what are we going to do there? This is actually called the carb load day. Now the carb load day, you're going to love this day because you've been depleted for three days. You're now going to fill up your muscle cells, your glycogen levels are going to go back up. So you're going to be a very happy person on these days. So what are you going to do? Your first day, your first meal on day four. So your first meal on day four, you need to have a mixture of 50% high glycemic foods and 50% high glycemic or low glycemic carbs. You want to get that instant rush of sugar into your cells right away on that first meal on day four. Um, after that, you're going to kind of cut out your high glycemic carbs most of the time and just stick to the low glycemic carbs and so forth. Your sweet potatoes. Uh, so what else with nutrition? Um, you're going to keep the sodium down, um, but how many carbs are you going to eat? You may be surprised. You're basically going to be about two and a half to three times what your baseline is. So if your baseline is 200 grams per day, like in the other example, you're going to be taking about you know, 400 to 500 grams of carbs on this day four. So you're going to be loading up. You want to fill up your muscle cells with glycogen uh, because they're like sponges right now because they've been depleted. They just need some sugar. They're going to suck it up and make your muscles look nice and round and big and full. Um, so moving on, day, day, uh, I guess day three, cut your carbs again in half. So if you're at 500, go down to about three to, to 250, um, it's mainly low glycemic carbs. And then the next day, try to cut down even another half or so um, because you don't want to have that spillover effect, which means that your glycogen levels are already full. Um, when they're full, the sugar has nowhere else to go but to be stored as body fat. You don't want that before the shoot. So cut again the next following day. Workouts are going to stay the same. Stick with the uh, glycolytic workouts. Actually, uh, you may try the glycolytic, glycolytic workout on day four, but day three and day two, you're not doing a workout because your, your goal is to fill up your muscle cells with the glycogen, so no workouts on those days. Maybe you can cut out the workout on day four. Um, so your glycolytic workouts are mainly going to be day seven, day six, and day five. No workouts after that. Uh, I can't remember if I talked about cardio or not. Um, I tried cardio all the way up until the shoot, and I've taken cardio away all the way up to the shoot. And I found that my body was more lean when I stuck with the cardio in the morning all the way up to the shoot. A lot of people say stay away from the cardio because it can leave your muscles stringy and can kind of um, thin you out a little bit. Um, so once again, give it a try, find out what works for you. Um, cardio worked for me, but a lot of people say stick away, stay away from cardio. Check it, try it yourself. Um, water. So then your water is going to kind of decline. So we're almost doing the opposite of what we did in the loading phase, or the, the, the uh, dehydration phase and the uh, depletion phase, where water was high and carbs low. We're now kind of going carbs high and water low because uh, we want to get rid of the water out of our cells. So uh, maybe um, half of what you were taking on eight liters, where I was taking eight liters um, on day four, and then drop it again by half and half. So when you're almost up to that date, you're just sipping water because you're, you want to look like an anatomy chart. Muscles are going to be popping. No water on the skin. You're ripped. Um, so the day of your shoot, um, you know, just rip out some body weight exercises to kind of give you that, um, that ripped look. So some push-ups, some crunches, and so forth before the shoot. Hopefully your shoot's in the morning um, so you can kind of load up after the shoot and go for, for a treat meal. Um, uh, what else? Um, actually, I found the wine the night before a photo shoot works. It helps with the vascularity, so it kind of helps to find the muscles even a little bit more. So feel free to have a glass of wine the night before your, your shoot. Enjoy that. Um, what else? There's certain supplements you can take, but I don't want to get too much into that um, to help even further, like uh, alpha lipoic acid, ALA, um, during your carb loading phases to really help um, send that glycogen into the muscle cells and be absorbed by the muscle cells or the sugar. Um, that helps during the actual loading phase. Um, there's so many things that I can talk about, but I'm trying to keep this short. Those are the main points. So it's the carb depletion and the carb load, the water load and water depletion. All very important things. So test it out. Try. See what works for you. Um, send me a comment. Let me know what has worked for you and what hasn't worked for you. What works for me may not work for you and so forth. So. Um, if you have any tips yourself on what you have done in the past, let me know. Maybe I'll incorporate them into my next shoot. Um, I'm actually in a, a depleted state right now because I have a couple fitness projects coming up this weekend. So I'm trying my best to keep my energy levels high, um, but you know I hit some lows. But it's like I said, in the end, 
it is all worth it. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube channels. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want. If you have questions, I'll try to answer it in a video like I'm doing right now. Um, and it's just a little more interactive and fun. I like being on camera, so um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. That's it. I'm Brad Guthrow, and I am done. So thanks, guys. Take care.